<clears throat> What's going on, YouTube? Let's see if we have any uh, sound. I'll wait till somebody comes in here and let me know if we have sound uh, because I'm on Bluetooth and I don't know if this headset's working. So we'll give it a few. I don't know if any uh, notifications went out or not, but we will sit and wait and find out. If we have zero, I haven't got no notification yet or not. Lightbright, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yo, Snorler, let me know if you can hear me. Thumbs up. Because I got these earpieces and I don't know if it's working or not. I just lost an earpiece, so... Uh, Audio is okay. Yeah, so we're we're uh, looking at trucks. Yeah, so we're uh, checking out what International has. So let's see, let's see what International's got going on. So here's a International truck at the International dealer. Right, we're checking this truck out. Uh, see what they got going on for 2024, anyway. And this is their diamond spec version so we will look and see what that has to offer it's got the electric apu on this one installed by the factory it's got some good metal flake i don't know if you can see the metal flake in this copper it's got some really nice metal flake in there i don't know if you can see it uh, <clears throat> but we'll walk around it anyway go inside and see what uh, what the old diamond spec looks like new for 2024 it's got the Cummins in it right so it's got a nice red motor uh, might as well open the hood and see, see what's going on there so let's open the hood up and see what's on this LT I like the blacked out letters there. That's kind of nice. Open it up the Schneider way. Makes it easier. But nice red motor in there. <clears throat> so this one does have the Cummins in it. The CX-15 Cummins. Now we'll look at the interior, see what diamond spec gives you. Gives you nice leather stitching on the leather. Some nice wood grain here. It's got the nice seats. It's got back cycler in the seats, back cycler 2000. It's got all the gate, all the stuff there. Go on up in here. got the nice dash I like this dash here they recess this so you can put a cell phone in here see that you can you just set a cell phone in there they got a nice charger here another port here they got a pocket here but I like this ledge because you can put tablets or whatever you want there and it's not gonna go anywhere right it's not gonna go nowhere it's a nice lip on that ledge got some nice wood grain there I'm just looking at trucks, Shannon. I ain't going on no road trip. Uh, got all the buttons for everything. He's got auto start and stop feature. Cubby hole there. There's cubby holes back in here. Drink holders. Wood grain all around. Diamond spec. And even the passenger seat has the back cycler. So there you go. You got a gauge package there. You got all this there. And you got leather seats, right? It's got leather seats in it. And let's look at the sleeper. So it's a double bunk. You got the leather diamond there. There's all your APU controls. Your heat, cool, no idle. I guess this here's for the 
2000 watt inverter that's built in. And of course, like all international sleepers, you got the nice pockets, deep pockets with cup holders, USB plugs, shore power plugs right here. Um, what else they got in here? You got your TV mount here. And you got antennas and so forth plug in there. You got the nice windows that pop out with the nice screens. Another plug here. Another plug here. You can bolt down a microwave or something on top of this cabinet if you want. Nice storage unit up here. Oh, this must be all the curtains and stuff for the windows. And it looks like somebody left a bag of chips in here. Anybody want a bag of chips? Bacon eats fried pork rinds, so this must have been a lead truck or something. Because whoever drove it to get it here, uh, the dealer, like pork rinds. Nice big compartment here. And if this was a single bunk, then you had four of those, but you only got two of them. In this truck. Nice cabinet there. Another cabinet here. Deep wall cabinet. And of course, on this side, you have flat out drawers and you have your nice deep refrigerator and that goes way way back on that a real deep that's got a real deep freezer there so you can stick a lot of stuff back in there and you go down here and you got a nice storage area under the under the bunk so you gotta lift it up you got some cubby holes on each side so nice trucks uh there should be on these internationals two little lift up arms to lift the bed up which would give you all kind of storage underneath yeah so that is they got a top rail here for storage and the paper towel holder, Snow Lord, right? The paper towel holder. And more storage up there. And you have deep pockets here. Here. CB radio goes there. And then you open this up and there's more storage behind that cabinet. So, there you go. That is a tour of a LT six and a quarter diamond spec. Of course, here's all your controllers. Heat, heat for the mirrors, all your controllers there, windows, locks. The seats are the bomb, though. And you got your batteries here. And I guess their APU, what they do is uh, they got four more batteries back here. They like your APU. And I don't know if you can see the flake in that paint. Yeah, you can see the flake. So it's got a it's got a nice flake to it, right? Nice flake, sliding fifth wheel, all that good stuff. But uh, I do like this. I like that. That's just added features. I do like that. Turn this around. Now we'll talk. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, it's got Chrome too. See, look. Let's check it out. You got a Chrome visor on this one. Chrome mirrors. Chrome accent mirrors there, and of course you got the grill, chrome, and all that good stuff. It needs a load lock holder on the back. Um, yes, yeah, get training from Snowboard. That's right. Yeah, it, it, they got the antennas mounted on the back, too, on these, which is kind of nice, not on those mirrors, because the mirror ones break. So the CV antennas are mounted back here on the back, which is kind of different. That's a little different. Bunk heater's right there, right? The Bosco heater, as far or whatever they want to call it. Nice, shiny chrome rims. These, these have already been polished out, right? So those are already polished. They're not the, the cheap, faded ones. They're already polished out and... They've already been, actually have the wheel weights on them, which is nice. Cab power, so you plug in your AC, and now you have cab power, block heater, 
all that good stuff. Of course, there's your pretty red water. Automatic 12 speed. Let's shut the hood down. So you might be able to see the flake in the sunlight. See that? Oh, yeah, you can see the flake now. It's got some good flake in the paint. Nice copper color. Now we can start up and take it for a spin. They last as long as the batteries, my friend. Uh, I know they got like a five year warranty on them or something like that, they said. And also, international with the Cummins will come. You can get it with a six year, 600,000 mile warranty. So that's good too. Let's start this thing up. Ah, uh, she's running. There you go. And it has this feature too. So over here, you can scroll through all these gauges, set up, truck. You hit axle load, it shows you exactly in pounds what's on that rear axle. 8210. Tire pressure monitor. Hit that. See the tire pressures? Uh, so those are there. Tire temperature. Hit that. See the tire temperatures? Axle 1, 2, and 3. Tire deviation. So it gives you that. So there you go. You got trip gauges, truck, tire pressure, alerts, display on and off, settings, gauges. Um, My gauges, vehicle gauges, engine gauges, transmission, trip meters, all this good stuff. Distance to empty. So I'll tell you how many miles to empty and what's in there. 8.1 miles per gallon is what, you know, showing on the screen and so forth. Yeah, there ain't no fuel in it, but we're going to take it for a ride. We're going to drive around the block, man, you know. So I'm going to get off here. We're going to drive this truck around the block. Might as well get started. I got the keys. We'll see you later. Maybe we'll do a video and tell you how it actually drove. Um, so anyway, we'll see you at Matt's, right? See you at Matt's. And uh, don't forget, we'll be there. See ya. Distance on empty tire fresh monitors. Uh, no fuel. Can't, can't go far, no fuel. Too fancy for me. Trucker Jason, what's going on? That's a lot to read. Kenwood Cabo, 1988. Uh, old school. Uh, this electric APU in this truck, uh, on their literature, is supposed to last 15 to 18 hours because it's eight batteries. 15 to 18 hours is what they say. Who knows? We'll see. You know, I'll turn it on and Wait 18 hours, come back the next day and see if it's still doing it. Just kidding. <laughs> so we're going to drive around the block anyway because it gave me the keys. I want to know if I want to test drive it. Sure, I want to test drive it. Why not? So we're going to test drive this truck and then go back to the house and get back to work. We'll see you.